Hello, Aide. Hello, good evening. Hi, teacher. How evening. are you? I'm fine. Teacher. Fine? Great, very good. Adriana is coming. Hi, May is here. Good evening. How are you? Fine? Are we okay? Yes? Okay, let's begin then. Let's begin. Um, we've been talking about traveling. You remember different cultures, different countries, different habits. You remember? And we're going to continue with that topic because we need to practice with the noun phrases. Okay. Adriana, do you remember the places, the countries that you talked about in your group last night? Sorry, teacher, I think my internet has problems. Oh, but I, un I understand that you asking about what we are talking last night. Yes, about the countries or the customs. Do you um, remember? Yes, uh, we were talking about uh, some objects that we apply uh, about experience. In different situations, uh, right? For example, yes, for a, a, a travel okay. in an airplane, it, it's uh, something very exciting. Okay. Um, and you feel so for comfortable with something oh, that yeah. you like or enjoy it. Yeah, that's true. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much. Manuel, hello. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> Manuel, do you remember some countries that you mentioned last night in your group? Uh, United States. Yes. Guatemala. Okay, interesting, huh? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. And what about Jaime? Do you remember some habits or customs uh, from different countries or places? Yes, uh, we talk about, um, the, for example, uh, San, San David Days. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. when when I I travel to a, another country, for example, uh, Honduras, Guatemala, uh, and where uh, where country I I want to, to visit or live? Yes, or live. Uh, for example, Sweden. Okay. In the case Sweden. Uh, and why? Why, Jaime? Because it's it's it's, it's a stranger uh, how different uh, culture. Yeah, for not example, that for example, uh, when you go to the uh, bring the the dry dry test or or or, or your license, um, license for to drive, yeah. you make a, a test in, in on on ice. Oh really? You, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> because okay. if you if you can drive on on ice, you can drive wherever. <laughs> yes. You can yes. drive. Yeah. Okay. Very good. <laughs> nice. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Different cultures, huh? Very good. Julia, welcome. Hello. Teacher. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um. Alma Brisa, have you been to Canada? Uh, Canada? Uh, no, I, be, I, I don't, I don't visit Canada. Not or, yet. Or be, no jet. No Not jet. jet. No. Okay, uh -huh. very good. <laughs> Only okay. United States. Only the United States. Okay. Different. Uh -huh. Yes. Would you like to go to Canada? Oh, yes. Yes? yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the rest of you, Adriana, Aide, Manuel, Julio, Jaime, would you like to visit Canada? Yes, I will. Yes? I, I, read, I read that they, well, not only visiting or traveling, because I read that is one of the countries that had a good payment 
for immigrants. Oh, oh really? Yes. Oh, that's a good nice. salary. That's it's interesting. Interesting. Yeah. And but what about the yeah? What about the weather there? It's cold. I think yeah. it's cold. <laughs> yes, it's really, really cold. Okay, very good. So mm -hmm. we are going to watch a video. Okay, in this moment. And the name of the video is The Streets of Montreal. So I, I am asking you to please pay attention to this video and then you will tell me about it, all right? And not only about the video, but your opinions, okay? Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay. Yes. Ready, teacher. Thank you. Hi, I'm Kai Nagata. I'm a television journalist based here in Montreal, Canada, and I'm also a lifelong cyclist. Right now, cycling is getting more and more popular in Montreal, with 10% of all commuters getting to work by bike, like me. And city officials want that number to increase. More bicycles means more bicycle traffic, and that means sharing the road. There's lots of opinions about how pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers should act and interact in the city. Let's find out what people think. Is there anything Montreal could do to improve things for cyclists? Yeah, well, I think the city should try to expand the system of cycle paths. One thing I learned this morning is that one shouldn't drive against traffic, <laughs> because that's a problem. Sometimes there are corners uh, where drivers just cannot see you coming, and so you should really try to avoid driving against the traffic if possible. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? Cyclists should have their own bike lane and drive towards the oncoming traffic because they will be able to better see what the other parked cars are doing, whether they're driving or parked, the cyclists will have more control. What do you think drivers ought to do to help keep cyclists safe? Drivers should always check their rearview mirrors before opening their doors so that they don't hit a bicycle that's coming up behind them. Do you spend more time driving or riding a bike? Driving. What do you think Montreal could do to encourage cycling as an option for people? Uh, maybe education, maybe some restriction to driving downtown. So maybe making it harder for drivers. Right. right, that's the nature, the human nature. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? There should be a law that says all children starting from age six should be educated on the rules of bicycling. What do you think of the idea of kids wearing bike helmets? I think they should, but a lot of them won't. What do you think the city could do to make cyclists even safer in Montreal? Um, I think it, it would be best if bicycles and buses were not on the same street. Why do you think that? Because they're not compatible. The bus is very large and we're uh, very small and not protected, but we drive approximately the same speed or in the same path. What do you think cyclists should do to help keep themselves safe in traffic? Be more aware of both automobiles and pedestrians. I think uh, there are ways in which sometimes we cut corners in terms of moving through traffic, um, particularly moving traffic. I think cyclists need to be aware. What do you think when you see cyclists riding around with headphones in? I don't think it's the best idea. Uh, you have to be alert. Um, you don't often need your ears when you're cycling, but every once in a while you hear something that indicates something that you didn't see. And I, for safety reasons, that I think, you know, I'd like, to listen, I'd like to bike and listen to music too, but if you're going to do that, I think you should do that in a park. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? People should never wear Walkmans or iPods or whatever uh, while they cycle because a lot of cycle safety has to do with listening. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? I think cycling on the sidewalk is fine uh, with kids. 
uh, I think most pedestrians are at ease with it. Uh, you know, look here, look at how wide this sidewalk is. If you have young children who are just learning to cycle, I don't see anything wrong with cycling on the sidewalk along here. What's your impression of Montreal as a city for cycling? Cyclists should take a bigger piece of the city and play a bigger role in the city. And I think that uh, drivers and even pedestrians should relax a bit about cyclists. Cyclists are good for cities. Wherever bikes and cars share the road, people are going to have opinions about how they ought to interact. Montreal is no exception, and we may not have solved all the problems yet, but we're working on it. I'm Kai Nagata reporting from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Okay, let's go back to our class. Now you tell me, what about culture in here, about means of transportation? Can you please compare these habits, these culture uh, in terms of me, uh, means of transportation to different places? Can you mention some examples? Okay, he said that the 70 percent use a, a cycling. Yes. This is so interesting. Yes, imagine that. In, but, uh, in Montreal, it's the popular uh, transportation and because it's uh, many cleans for the uh, city. Yes. Did, uh -huh. you see, did you see that part of the video where the cyclist is right next to the bus? Yes? And okay. I... Yes, and, and, and there are. They share the street. Yeah, and they were respectful to each other, right? Yes. That's part <laughs> of their culture, right? Different uh, cultures in many places. Okay, so we are going to talk here about different aspects, not only transportation, but different, uh, let's say, areas about uh, different customs in different countries. So let's see here. Here, look at this. Let's say, uh, Julio, can you please read this about Canada? Yes, Canada, if you are invited for a meal, you should arrive on time, not early or late. Very good. Their habit, their, their custom, which is different in different places, right? So maybe, maybe, what about in our country? What's this habit in our country? Is it different or is it the same? Are we punctual? In general. In general? is 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 similar. Are we punctual? No, in our country, no. In England, Not really, is, right? Well, in England, it's exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah. In England, uh, it is, but uh, here in uh, our country, uh, in our country, no. No, right? So that's in our country, we say, we say, give me five minutes, please. <laughs> fine, and then uh, you are right ten minutes later. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Ten or fifteen sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but okay. I think I think yeah. it, it depends on the people who you are uh, having the meal. Yes. Because maybe if you have like more coffee with your friends, yeah. uh, maybe you can be late. But for example, other formal meals, a family or business meal, for example, maybe it's to be on time yeah it's not 15 minutes but five minutes late or just on <laughs> yes. time <laughs> oh, just, just on time, time. <laughs> yes you're right very good so i'm going to send you to the breakout rooms could you please take the screenshot of this and these are just suggestions but i am sure that you know more uh, different habits so i need you to please talk about them different customs okay do you have the, your screenshot? Yeah? Yes. Yes? Ready? Okay, let's go. Let's go. 
Very good. Let's go. Again. Very good. So we're going to have groups of two or three people. Okay. Yeah. Please click on join. I sent you the invitation. What I need you is, you, is uh, that you talk, that you use your English. Thank you very much. Herbert, did you receive the invitation?
virus. Yes. <laughs> this is good. What else? Let me see. Mm -hmm. How do you say indígena, teacher? Indígena. Let's go to our dictionary because I don't remember. Let's <laughs> see. I will stop your 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 picture here. Let's see here. Native. Look at me. Native. Native. Oh, native. Or, native. Or indigenous. Yes. yes. Native, uh, native people. Native. Mm -hmm. native people. Or, look at or, here. Yeah. Only native. Yeah. Look at here. <laughs> look at here. La cultura indígena. Native, native culture. culture. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Good. I say Guatemala have a lot of people. Native, native people, native, native people. Yes, native people. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah, and different customs, right? Yes. Different traditions. Yes. Um. Different foods. Yes. Different food. Okay. What's your favorite country, Julio? In in America. Oh, well, yeah, mm -hmm. in general. I, I, I want to travel to Canada. Oh, really? But and why? Yes, but because the, the country, well, I, I, I watch a video on YouTube and for people to travel to Canada and Canada has a, a, a lot of place a beautiful place to visit. Beautiful place, right? Vancouver, to visit. yes. yes. Mm -hmm. and, and Julio, Julio yes. went driving in, in bicycle. <laughs> to make oh, bike. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh -huh. Yes, but it's very difficult to, to travel to Canada because you need a visa Bye. and a special. Uh, Permiso have permit uh, permit and for the people from Canada to invite uh, oh, my family for example me. oh really yes you need you need this this required card. yes yeah a, an invitation letter maybe mm -hmm. okay. oh. yes a letter invitation an invitation letter so it's ah, so it's letter. difficult then it's very difficult. Oh, but, you, but but I I saw in the Facebook mm -hmm. um, Canada um, they have people for for working in Canada. Mm -hmm. Yes, I I have two 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 friends, a couple. Uh, he has a work in Canada. Mm. But the other country I want to visit maybe is Argentina. Oh, really? Yes, but it is very, very, very Why? <laughs> <laughs> uh, For me, it's very interesting the culture, the food, uh, and the people. Oh, really? The people, yes. I, I have a, a co worker from Argentina. Okay. And he he told me he is very very beautiful place but i don't know <laughs> i i i want to you, try you have to go right you have to go yes. right good. <laughs> okay continue. A, yes i throw thank you i watch some videos about how the uh, or uh, you you can't leave a tip in a, when you when eating out because it's it's like offensive or 
irrespectful. Where, Manuel? So, what is that? In Japan. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, good. And job. also, uh, when you visit someone before getting into the house, you must take oh, off your oh, shoes. All and the time. you have to leave. You have to, to leave the shoes at the entrance of the house. Outside. You are only, you, you are, no, inside, close to the entrance. To the door, yeah. Uh -huh, and you are, oh, you are only allowed to get in with your socks. Socks? My, yeah, yeah, with your socks. In my yeah. Uh -huh. Oh my God, interesting. Yeah. Before you travel, you need to know, right? You need to read and, and be aware of those customs. Imagine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very good. So are in we some, done? Yeah. I'm sorry, Jaime. Go ahead. Sí. In, in some country, it's not, uh, it's not possible to take a, a photo uh, to, to, yeah. to, to, some, land, to different landscapes, right? Yes. 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 No permit. Yes, you need to ask for permission. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, good to know. Imagine. For example, uh -huh. chores are... Um, yes. Estatua, ¿cómo se dice estatua? Statues. The statues, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm, good to know. Yeah, imagine you are happily taking your selfies, right? Oh, and it's for me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. Talking about teacher. Uh, yes. In, I, I, I don't know if uh, some, some president take a, a photo in the in the uno. <laughs> like, yeah, like, I imagine that. I don't know another, another people. Yes. But, <laughs> and in, in, in France, yes. the people greet each other with a kiss on both cheeks. Yes, that's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. here and here, right? Yeah, good. Yes, yes. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Okay. Hello, hello, we're back. <laughs> nice, hello. nice conversations. Yeah, very interesting, right? What you were like talking about. Very good. Now, last night we were talking about noun phrases. And this is very important to know because sometimes you remember in the examples, sometimes you were using the pronoun and some other times you were like omitting it. So it is important that you know and that you identify when you can uh, omit it and when you have to use it. Because it's not because um, I don't want to use it in this moment, I don't use it. There is a reason why, right? So let's see here. Um, do I have a volunteer? Who can help me by reading this green chart, please? The uh, number one? Yes. No phrases containing relative clauses. Okay. Uh, the relative pronoun who or that can be left out in noun phrases and subjects and as objects. These four sentences have exactly the same meaning. One thing, I would be nervous about this getting lost. One thing that I'll be nervous about is getting lost. Getting lost is one thing I will be nervous about. Yes, very good. Okay. Getting lost is, okay, okay. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, so you see you have many options. Uh, the, um, the main thing here is the order of the components. That means the word order here, right? So... Um, and you can have the relative pronoun, uh, as it says here, the relative pronoun who or that can be left out in noun phrases as subjects and as objects. So we say, you, we see here, answer the questions using the words in parentheses. Let's practice with this. We are going to write each, we're going to say each sentence uh, two ways. 
and you need to leave out the relative pronoun. So it's not that there is, um, we are going to have like the grammar explanation and no, no, no. We're going to practice. And as, as long as we practice, we're going to learn how this works, all right? So I guess you have your screenshot here so we can go and do it and then we check together. Ready? Ready? Yes? yes. Okay. yes. Let's go, let's go. Same groups, all right? Same groups. Thank you. Let's do it. And in three minutes, we come back and we check together. Okay, please click on join. Thank you. Herbert, did you receive the invitation? I will send the invitation again, right to you. Let's see here. There we go. Herbert, what happened? Okay. I don't know. My God, I will send you the invitation again, right? Thank when you. Time works. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Not yet. I didn't get the invitation. Yeah, yeah. nothing. Okay. I, I will do it again. Okay. Thank you. Nothing? No. Nope. Okay. Something is failing. Yeah. Okay. okay. I, I, I will ask all of them to come back. We can do it in here, right? Yeah. Okay. They're coming back. Yeah, we're coming back. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I guess everyone is here. No, not yet. Okay, we're back. We're going to check together. Okay, who wants to, yeah. Teacher, the timing was very short. Yes, I'm sorry about that. Maybe but... maybe one minute, no, or one more minute. not three, uh-huh, yes. Yeah. Uh, we um, try to, to speak. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know what happened? Yeah. That because of rain in some area, yeah. it's yes. is like, it's not working really well. Really well, so, yes. Yeah, there were some participants that had uh, some issues, and that is why I decided yes. to, okay. to bring We connected up. late when yes, you, yes. you say enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Click and join. <laughs> <laughs> Click and join. Yeah, very good. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see. We have here. Um, that is... Um, if you want to live in a foreign country, who would you miss a lot? And then we have here in the parentheses, person, my best friend. And then you have here the two examples. One person I miss a lot is my best friend. My best friend is one person I miss a lot. Okay, can you help me with number one? Thank you. Uh, yes? Two things I'd be very interested in are the food and the music. Okay, and the other um, option? Um, the food and the music are two things I'd be very interested in. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, number three. Who wants to do number three? Yes? Thank you, Adriana. Okay, I tried yes, something, something that I not understand, something I be worried about is not understanding the customs. Okay. And the other and Yes? Okay, you swap the order. Not understanding the customs? Yeah, very good. Uh, it's something that I'll be worried about. About. Very good. Thank you. Thanks to you. <laughs> okay, who wants to participate with number four? Who wants to do number four? Yeah. Jaime? Yeah, yeah, correct. Yes. What sure. would you who would you say in Portuguese? People, my brother and sister. Okay. My brother and sister. Uh, who will I stay in first week? Uh, that is a question. You need, look at here. Okay, you have here a question, but then you go with a sentence, right? Then you will make the sentence by using here, my brother and sister, and then you take uh, a piece of information here, but not the structure. Okay, my brother and sister, who will stay in this? No, sorry. Okay. Um, two people. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Two, two people I I be stay in touch with are my brother and sister. That sounds that sounds good. Okay, and then you swap the order, right? My brother, my brother and sister are two people I'd be staying in touch with. 
Yes, very good. Yo te me habló. Okay. Okay, very good. Um, do I have a volunteer for the last one? What would you feel insecure about? If you went to live in a foreign country, what would you feel insecure about? And then speaking a new language. You begin speaking a, little, a new language. Um, you want to try, Herbert? Well, thank you. Let's try. Yeah, let's do it. Um, I'm thinking um, maybe in this order. Okay. Speaking a new language, it's something yes. that I will feel insecure about. Yeah, very good. And then the other option, you just swap the order, right? Yeah. Something that I feel insecure about is speaking a new language yes very good there you go you see and you are expressing like the same idea like in here that we have like the four different options and you are like expressing the same meaning right okay what's the what's the uh let's say the most important thing about the differences between cultures what is like the the objective of knowing in advance different habits or customs uh, in countries where we're going to travel to. What, what's the importance of this? Can you tell me? Can you help me? Because that, that, the, that the synthesis we have to, to understand the culture of another country. Yes, and? Uh, in some cases. Okay, what else? To, 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 rule, to rule our behavior because maybe there are uh, uh, things that are allowed in some countries and there are yes. uh, things that are not allowed in some other countries. Yes, very good. And what happens if you are like uh, having a behavior that is not accepted in a different country but I mean, you don't think or you are not like having that behavior because you want to to be cause any troubles. Yes, exactly. Then what, what's the point in there? Maybe don't be involved in, yeah. in, in some occasions where you are doing something that for the people over there is strange. It's strange, right? Mm -hmm. It's forbidden sometimes, right? Yes. Yes. yes, yes. So at the end, we can say that it's a communication issue, right? Yes. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Could be, the, right? The, yeah. The other uh, topics uh, would be uh, the relations. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, there are different in the the, uh, the coastal is different because the relation impact in 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 the countries and the different yes. countries. Yes, exactly. Okay, mm -hmm. so I have here a video for you: understanding cultural communication differences, right? And that it's really interesting, not only because of the content, but also because of the way this person uses his English. So um, that is one of the reasons why I, I, I chose this video for you. So um, I invite you to, to pay attention, right? And then we're going to discuss about this, all right? Let's watch okay. this video, right? It's only three minutes. In high context cultures, Yes may mean yes, yes may mean no, and yes may mean maybe, depending on how the yes is messaged. So it's not just the words, it's actually the facial expression, the tonality of the voice and the body language. Whereas in low context cultures, yes means yes and no means no. I mean what I say and I say what I mean. 
direct. Think of some of the issues that comes up. I loved Dave Ulrich's definition of listening. Listening is not about, have you heard me, but have you understood what I meant? I love that definition. I thought, well, that's really good. And here's the issue. If you come primarily from a low context culture, even when someone says no, and they say no without using the word no, you don't actually hear it. You don't hear it. So then the issue becomes, why didn't they just say no? If they couldn't perform or couldn't get that done on time, why didn't they say no? Well, they probably did, but you just didn't hear it. As I was with a meeting with a client some time ago, was a, you know, we were with a Korean uh, organization, and he came out of the presentation saying, oh, you know, I think that presentation went really well. I said, I don't think it went really well. So why not? Because they said they were really interested, they would give it good consideration. I said, no, that doesn't mean that they're going to give, think about it. You know, because they, when they kind of said that, they kind of, they took the deep breath in. So it's just paying attention to the cues. So when we l listen to people who come from high context cultures, they seem to be kind of beating around the bush. And we don't hear what they're saying. Whereas when we're coming from low context cultures, how it comes across to high context is, in fact, sometimes we come across as being very rude and very direct. They say, you know, don't you have any heart? Can't you say it in a different way? So once again, different styles of communication. And think about that here. And once again, the thing to remember is that culture is very subjective. In Australia, we consider ourselves to be quite open and quite straight. We take pride in the fact that we call it as it is. I had a client recently who said to me, Tom, I thought we were direct. I had a project manager who came from the United States. And at our first meeting, she had my whole team in tears. She said, I now know what direct is. Because compared to her, we were really soft. However, we, compared to the Indonesians, we are direct, they're very indirect. So culture is always subjective. It's relative to your point of reference. Okay. Let's go back. Okay, what do you think? Well, it's, it's a different uh, context because uh, we are thinking in we, our, our, our behavior is different. But what these guys say, even the words you say, you can be very uh, direct with someone yes. and say something. Maybe for you, it's something honest. Yes. But the way they interpret your words is like, it's honest, but it's rude also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's part of their culture, right? Yes. Because yes. if you, I'm sorry? They feel like you're mean with them. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. And, that, and that's, what, uh, that's another situation, for example, in the United States. They go straight to the point, right? And it's, it's okay, right? But here in our, court, in our uh, culture, we are like trying to, to go like step by step. Being a little soft. Yeah, a little exactly. soft. A little soft. <laughs> Not <Exactly. rude. laughs> no, Yeah, imagine that. Yes. Okay. And okay, what else? What mm, else did you tell me? Uh, I, I heard that it's. He said that it's like a relative to point or view. Yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. And. Yes, could be yes in one place, and no could be no in one place, but in other place, just could be yes, just could be maybe, and just could be no. Yeah, and it depends on, I mean, your your intonation, your facial expression, and body language as well, right? Body language. Yeah, yeah. body language. Body language. Yes, good. Okay, very good. So at the end, we are talking about communication, right? Different also, cultures. Yes? I'm sorry. I, I'm thinking uh, when you say about the uh, United States yes. and all the things that uh, happened today, um, even some words can express like hate. Yes. You know, some politicians, for example, uh, use some words to express hate for um, 
some communities like yes. um, Latino people, even with black people, and some words even are very, very um, I don't know, racist for them. Yes. And you can mean like a like get get fire for, for everywhere, you know. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And at the end, it's like communication. Communication. Right? Yeah. Yes. Communication. Yes. Very good. Okay. So. We have to stop here. We are going to make a pause. Remember that tomorrow we are coming back and tomorrow we are going to um, have like the last topic that we have in section five, which is ex expectations, okay? And remember that we have until this coming Friday for you to finish with the platform, right? So um, I, I invite you to continue and to finish with the platform, right? And hope to see you tomorrow okay yeah thank you thank you, thank you very thank you. much thank you teacher yeah, have a, a lovely night. night bye okay yes. see you night. Night. Night.